Today you join me on a flight to Fishburn from Norwich, uh, Norwich Echo Golf Sierra Hotel. We're taking golf, golf uniform today, a Piper Warrior 2. Uh, the weather today is uh, overcast with uh, Stratus down here at Norwich, but it is, uh, it is due to clear. So uh, here we go, let's prep the aircraft. Now I'm quite excited about this flight to Fishburn to see family. So first let's get the prop started, pick up the ATIS and get our taxi clearance. Okay, clear prop. Now Norwich is a medium sized regional and international airport. When runway 27 is the active, the taxi from the GA parking and fueling areas to the Alpha 2 hold is quite lengthy. The route takes us along taxiway Delta past the terminal and up to taxiway Alpha and turning right towards Alpha 2. We will conduct our pre takeoff power checks at the Alpha 2 hold.
Rotates and P's are in the green. 50, 55, currently rotate, we're off the ground. And we're climbing out nicely. Oh, it is good. So we've now crossed the wash into Lincolnshire and before Norwich loses off the radar let's switch over now to Humberside. Humberside radar, Golf, Echo, Echo, Golf, Uniform, uh, request basic service. Let's just stop for the moment, head to the ground and take a look at how I planned this flight. Okay, so here we go, uh, about to do our planning for a flight from Norwich, Echo Golf Sierra Hotel, to Fishburn. I'm going up there to see some family and uh, have a cup of coffee with them, I just to enjoy the flight really. But my planning generally starts at least two days, three days before, uh, before we, I intend to undertake the flight. Now, uh, I start with looking at the weather, what's due for the next few days. And I, I generally start with the BBC. It's good enough to give us an idea of what we've got coming, frontal systems and pressure systems due to the UK. Now, I always start by planning on the iPad. Um, now, I use Sky Demon. A lot of people uh, use Sky Demon in the UK and Europe. I think some people use Flight, but I think that's mainly reserved uh, for the United States, but people do tend to use Sky Demon. The best thing about Sky Demon is you can draw a line and you can just move it around where you like without having to rub lines out on a paper chart and then redraw them. So let's start with our plan to go 
to Fishburn. So first things first, uh, we're going to start at Norwich and then we're going to look for Fishburn, which is just north of Durham Tees Valley. There's Durham Tees Valley and there's Fishburn. So there we go. That's the initial route, straight line route from Echo Golf Sierra Hotel all the way up to Fishburn. Now, I don't intend to take this route for a number of factors. Uh, firstly, I want the sea crossing across the wash to be the minimal distance I can get. So I'm going to adjust the route for that. So uh, I'm probably going to head for the Lenwade Lakes to start with. Um, and then from Lenwade Lakes, the VRP at Lenwade Lakes, I'm going to head up the coast, uh, sort of between Wells Next to Sea and Brancaster um, up here. And then we'll do the crossing somewhere off Brancaster. Now, at the moment, I know that we've got this NOTAM, this circled area here around Skullthorpe. Um, and if we click on that, we can see what that is. It's parachute jumping around a disused airfield at Skullthorpe. But I know that that's not going to be there when I intend to do the flight. So we'll plan across that. Um, so my first point is going to be Brancaster. Oops. Be Brancaster. And then I want to, again, keep this distance across the wash as short as possible. So I'm going to head to Croft. I know that little airfield. I've been there in a Cessna 172 to pick up a pilot after a aircraft uh, annual. So we'll then proceed up the coast over Louth, up towards Humberside. Now I've got a brilliant VOR here, the Otteringham VOR, which I might as well make use of. Um, it gives me a good navigational aid uh, to use. There is a no tamed area here for a danger area, which is activated, but that's from 5,000 feet uh, upwards. So I'm going to be well below that on this flight. And then we're going to head up to uh, the Stokesley VRP. That's a good reporting point and uh, straight across to Sedgefield. So that gives uh, the Durham Tees Valley controllers uh, an idea of a defined route that I'm going to take across the control zone. Uh, and also, luckily, that takes us straight over the Tango Delta uh, via uh, NDB. So we'll make sure and be sure to note the frequency of 347.5 for the ADF in the aircraft. Um, now, that's the route initially planned. There are a few things I need to do. So uh, we'll start by reading up on the actual aircraft, uh, sorry, the aerodrome uh, approach information first. We'll have a look on their website. Uh, and we'll also uh, be looking at the approach information. So it's a 790 metre grass runway with a 30 metre whip. So that's perfectly acceptable for taking a pipe of warrior into. The approach for Fishburn, if we're, once we've looked on the website, is all to the north. So my intentions are to run up to the north, uh, keep it well clear and at good altitude, and then join on a downwind uh, leg somewhere, something like that. Um, I'm guessing based on the weather forecast uh, in a few days time it's looking westerly so I'm going to assume at this stage that we're going to be on a runway 26 approach. So that's that. The next step is to look at the aerodrome itself. Now it's important to go on their website to look at noise abatement procedures and sure yes they have they've got plenty of noise abatement procedures on their website and I'm going to print this out and make sure I take it on the aircraft with me. So the next step in the flight planning uh, is to map out the uh, route onto paper. So I'm going to translate this now into the route on paper and uh, I'll take it from Sky Demon because why reinvent the wheel? Uh, and then I'll double check all the headings and courses um, using my protractor and ruler. Once we've done that, we'll do the pilot's log to keep on the kneeboard. Now, although I've got an electronic moving map, it's very good to keep it on paper and to keep it on the kneeboard as well, because, well, iPads have got a habit of crashing. Um, they've got a habit of overheating, and you get that temperature symbol come up in the air, and that's not really gonna help you uh, when you're trying to navigate an aircraft. So remember, aviate, navigate, communicate. If the iPad goes down, we still need to fly the aircraft safely. So let's lay off the lines on the chart.
So, after completion of my flight planning, and on this morning before takeoff, I checked the notices to airmen, the NOTAMs, and of course the forecast weather on the Met Office F214 and F215 forms. You join me back in the air as we cruise over the River Humber on a basic service from Humberside Airport. Shortly we'll be changing to Durham Tees Valley radar and asking for a zone transit. Uh, uh, here we fly over Grimsby. Grimsby docks down there. Now I really have screwed up my approach on base to final. I have turned far too early from base to final and I've lost sight of the aerodrome. Not being properly established on final I decide to go around. There's no traffic in the circuit so I conduct an orbit and realign with the correct approach path. In hindsight maybe I should have overflown the airfield in the circuit and taken the time to study the approach properly.
Now the approach to Fishburne on runway 26 is slightly steeper with power lines that cross the approach two miles from the threshold. I read reviews about the upslope of the runway on 26 being of concern, but it really isn't anything to worry about. The runway is a sloping up runway to the west, but it isn't any trouble. Looking back on my landing though, I would probably carry a touch more speed into the flare to make a softer landing next time. Fishburne Aerodrome is a little gem in the northeast and definitely worth a fly in visit. The people there are fantastic and are very, very friendly. The Aviator Bistro on site is excellent and the food and service from Kate and her team is second to none. And this is worth a visit even if you are local in the area rather than flying in. Now I hope you enjoyed this video of the Flight Mariners Adventure to Fishburne. If you liked the video give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Check out the Flight Mariner website for more information. See you next time in the next Flight Mariner Adventure.